you know, before I go into this uh, next song, first of all, I want to thank every single person that left a comment. You have encouraged me that um, this is something that's going to be positive, something that's going to be helpful, something that's informative. And um, um, as long as uh, people are still interested in these song reviews, uh, I'll continue to do it. But before I uh, go into this next song, I uh, quickly want to share with you my book, Lost in the Storm. It's available on Amazon as a paperback, ebook, and as an audible. Uh, I actually do the narration for it. I wrote the first chapters of this while I was incarcerated, solitary confinement, and then I finished it once I got out. And it's a story uh, of my life. So I just wanted to quickly share that. Um, sorry about that. I'm trying to take this one off. Okay. So today, still getting used to the system and how to do this, guys. But I want to say this, is that today, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Times Are Changing. Uh, this is a song that was on my last album, my last secular album. And uh, it was from this CD, Engrave These Words on My Stone. For those of you that um, like to know little facts that maybe there's no way you could know, uh, that photo was taken in Columbia State Park. Columbia is a small town um, in the foothills here in Northern California by Sonora. And it's a little um, uh, restored Western town. It was probably, they say, I think it was the first or the second biggest city during the gold rush in all California. Uh, thousands of people searching for gold. And um, so uh, I felt compelled to take a picture here uh, because all of these tombstones go back. Uh, I'm talking like 1800s i mean early 1800s and they're really really old and it's just a trip to see uh the dates some of them were born in the 1700s uh, if, if i'm correct they go back a long time like i said it's an old western town and i said you know what i want to take this album cover here and i remember uh uh using this photo for the cover of this album uh what was I feeling when I wrote this? When I this is my last album. I didn't know it was going to be my last album before my uh, my indictment, my second indictment, because I was already fighting uh, Operation Black Widow federal case, and um, I didn't realize that this was going to be my last one. Uh, but I wanted to make an album that I felt that if this is if this is it, if this is the last people are going to hear of me. Uh, then whatever I'm talking about, I want you to engrave these words on my stone, talking about my headstone. So that's what inspired the cover, guys. Uh, we're going to get right into this. This song, I, I've gotten so many comments of so many suggestions. Um, I will say this, that um, I'm not sure how I will handle this part, but I'm doing a lot of my solo songs because maybe you know this or don't know. I didn't cuss in my music. I'm not comfortable uh putting cuss words, cussing songs on my channel. And uh, so pretty much every time I had a feature, a feature album with somebody, um, I wasn't cussing, but they were. So I hear you, a few of you um, are, are suggest, suggesting some songs. I'm not saying I'm not going to do it, but I want to figure out a way to beep out the cuss words first because I want it to be uh, family friendly. Uh, some of them that stood out that some of you asked was forced to get paid with uh, Pollo Loco. Um, I actually am interested in doing that one. So I'm probably going to figure out how to beep out the cuss words on that. And, um, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So I want to get into the song. Times are changing. The person uh, singing it is Raul Martinez. He's still a good friend of mine. He does production and um, he's a promoter and uh, he actually produced this beat. He did an amazing job. I did not produce this beat. And uh, he's a great, great producer and a great friend, uh, Raul Martinez. So if he's watching this, shout out to him, uh, not only for producing it, uh, but singing on the chorus. He was not even a singer, man. I just told him, man, you got to do this. And he did it. And I liked it. I said, man, let's double you up. Let's make it sound nice. And uh, anyways, um, here it is. The guitarist, to be honest with you, top of my head, I don't remember. But if you know something about my music, I have loved pianos and I loved acoustic guitars. Or, or electric guitar on this one, and uh, I always thought that added a little, a little flavor, a little, a little more feeling to, because um, a lot of rap songs are everything so electronic that it just sounds uh, emotionless, and I wanted to convey, you know, 
the the way I was delivering my lyrics and and I would put my heart and soul into it. And I always felt that um, by adding piano and adding acoustic guitar or electric guitar added life to the track. So anyways, uh, here it goes. It's waited till the night, night when the booze close their eyes To all those we despise, I wanna leave them where they lie Too much people with a firearm So I go back to the old school factory That'll just do my harm Cause in my body, I've met murder and poverty Used to wonder most of my homies get arrested and sitting in the county There's nothing worse than wasting time in a cell There's nothing worse than calling my high night Collect from jail As a homies commence to evaporate that game That bet that I don't spend uh, You gotta remember that well, what I say right there is nothing worse than uh, sitting in a cell. Um, I was fighting um, a federal case, a huge, huge case. I was getting uh, uh, the charges were the RICO Act, which is, you know, that's a really serious thing, federal case. And um, there was a lot of things happening, a lot of turmoil, man. And and, and I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't heard this in a long time. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm sure you can, but... Um, there's a lot of pain there, man. There's a lot of pain because I was very conflicted of of the lifestyle and my children, you know. And uh, as I said in the last previous video, the last uh, song review, um, I've always been a loving father, man. And I felt, you know, again, that pull. And you're going to continually you can, you're going to continuously hear me talk about the pull uh, because I think that. Um, is a huge definition of of my music and the type of artist that I was and the, and the type of person that 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 I am, you know, um, and just this conflicting of good and bad constantly, you know, and uh, I think that's really important. And I'm probably going to stress it over and over every time I hear it in my songs, you know, but right here you can hear it, man. And and here's the thing, right, is that. It's one thing fun and games when you're when you're growing up in this stuff, but when when people are getting killed, when people are going to jail, when you yourself are being indicted and you're standing before a judge, uh, it gets very real, you know. And uh, so, anyways, you can just hear that right here on this part. <laughs> The students about those fates And deep in the country brain sprayed On the gravel road Separated and hurt from the meat Cause it did explode <laughs> this, this part is kind of wrong When I was talking about the country roads um, I remember uh, You know a lot of times Especially back then A lot of the bigger cities um, They felt like Oh man you're just in, in, in Tracy Or Modesto or whatever You know in the valley uh, but the fact was, there's a there's a lot of stuff that was happening out in these country roads, and, and uh, it was a very serious thing. And uh, I'm sure by now you're up to speed, but just watching different shows and and different and whatnot that you don't have to necessarily live in a huge metropolis area for craziness uh, to happen. Anyway, so here it goes. What's going on every day? chorus right there why did times got to change you know um I, I, I now that i'm hearing it i remember now the fact of this is that i wanted a simpler time you know a simpler time and i mean <laughs> when i think of movies that are done of artists i mean i could just try to name uh la bamba um uh what's that one uh temptations um What's love got to do with it? With uh, uh, what's her name, um, Tina Turner? Uh, we could go on and on and on, right? Even even the NWA movie, Straight Outta Compton. Everything starts off and, and it's innocent, and, and, and to a certain degree, it's innocent, and you're just friends and you're hanging out, and and, and just everything, you know, just 
by this time, this is my last album, guys. I'd been nationwide for a few years at this point. Um, and just, again, the buildup was even even more, the pressure was even more than even the, the other album that I reviewed. And uh, you could just hear it. The world I describe is real, homie, don't you doubt it. I kick it for a minute and I'll tell you all about it. The life and times of a cholo rachicano I find that a better case cause they wanna give me yanos I refuse to bow down to these walls closing in I can't lay down and die, I gotta fight until I win What would you do, look at me size, live slower Cause every day I live longer, feel a little bit bolder So, as you can hear, I'm, I'm mentioning uh, about fighting a federal case You know, and um there was so many indictments happening, so many people being arrested, and, and it was just uh, the sweeping across the land, basically, and things had gone too far, you know, in the streets, in the neighborhoods, in our cities. And uh, so, again, a product of the environment to a certain degree, you know, and uh, and just fighting this federal case. And, and, I, and I actually say in the lyrics, I heard it, it says, I feel like the walls are closing in. And this is a true reality. Um, this is the life, guys. If this is the life, if, if you're young and you're watching this, this is the life you want to uh, live. If you don't like somebody telling you what to do, uh, if you don't like for anybody to tell you anything and everything offends you and, and all these things, then please keep in mind that ultimately then you will end up with somebody telling you what to do. You will end up with somebody telling you when to wake up, when to stand up, when to stand up for count, when you can eat, when you cannot eat, when your light turns off. You know, and, and here's the thing, right? It's not even just the correction officers, not just the COs, but it's whatever race you are. They're going to tell you what to do also. So if you're somebody that is rebellious and you don't like to, nobody to tell you nothing, then the best thing you can do is just live an honest life because that's the best way for people not to tell you what to do because you can be out here, live live a, a, a straight life, have a job, work, that, that you buy what you want to buy, live where you want to live, and do whatever you want to do. Go to sleep when you want to go to sleep. Wake up when you want to wake up, and and live your life, you know. But you 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 you're not going to. It's not going to end well for somebody that doesn't like anyone to tell them what to do, because that's exactly what you'll get. And unfortunately, many people um, end up getting life. So for the whole life, they didn't like nobody telling them what to do. Not for the rest of their life, they're going to be told what to do. Anyways, here it goes. I got the world on my shoulders, hold me down. I've sacrificed my feet, and you still wonder if I'm down. You know my roots run deep in the sacre that I carry like a father. I'm a true revolutionary. <laughs> right here in this part, I remember that that little line that I said right there is that man, I put my life on the line. I remember um, because again, by this time, I forgot how many. I can't think of the top of my head how many solo albums I had, but the more. Um, I kept getting more known and my more record sales, the more people started to question like my street cred, you know? And, um, and I felt frustrated because I'm just like, man, here I am sacrificing my life, you know, uh, with the indictments and this and that and saying whatever it is that I was saying in my songs and, and people still didn't believe it. And that was very frustrating, man. And it's a lesson that I learned that guys don't, don't be people pleasers, you know, whether it's a music or a YouTube channel or whatever it is, um, don't do things to try to impress others because it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it does not matter because it's like they want to push you and push you. And so so I'm going all out more and more and more. And then when I'm finally sitting in the cell, they just move on to the they just move on to the next person. It doesn't even matter anymore. You know? So um let's see. Hopefully I got more battery life. Just uh here yeah so yeah that's the issue man that was an issue let's keep going fighting for the causes what we all gotta do if one of us wins then none of us lose so take a minute homie and let it sink in the life you choose to and have your wasted life in the pit Love your homies. 
But that's a feeling as long as they don't leave you lonely When times get hard, true homies stick together And remember it's the worst before it gets better Take the good with the bad and cruise on through And never turn your back to the ones that were true I'd rather die a thousand times, burn alive and drown Than I ever turn my head on my camaradas from my town Okay, right here. Um, wow. I'm trying to, I'm trying, I can hear myself trying to give some advice to the listener. Uh, I'm, I'm older now. I, I think I'm like 31, 32, probably 31 years old when I released this album, you know? And um, so now I'm able to, um, even though I'm still in the life, but nevertheless, there was some wisdom there. I wasn't a, a young 19, 20, 21, just, just running and gunning. You know, and um, so I was now older than a lot of my audience, you know, and I knew that. So I was using this last verse to try to just shed some wisdom, you know, and and um, I, I actually uh, I'm proud of the stuff I'm saying right here because I'm trying to just just share, you know, share life. And on the late night when you least expect it, watch out for the cowards driving through with the question. You know who they are, snitch, punk, sissy, wannabes, never show mercy even if they plead. Let them bleed and get you with the cocktail, aim and ready to go. And squeeze the trigger, not too fast and not too slow. And put it down like it should be done. Let them cry, scatter, and run as my bullets hung. Well, put my foot in my mouth on that one because then the rest of the verse, I went back to the negative. Uh, you know, it's going back to, to hey man, ain't nothing gonna finish this, so you might as well, you know, load your cuete and just do whatever you got to do. And of course, I don't agree with that at all. You know, uh, but times are changing. That's what the song was called, and and things got crazier, things got wilder. I didn't know it was my last album. You know, but the walls truly were closing in. I made it to the point where I was in physical walls. You know, uh, a few months after this came out, this started getting radio play. Not this song, but this album, uh, Daddy's Home, started getting a lot of radio play um, in Stockton. Then it hit Merced, and then it hit Selena's, and I was about to go on an interview to to uh, try to get in a rotation in San Francisco because I knew once it got on rotation in San Francisco, it was going to take off nationwide. And it was at this time that I got arrested. Uh, and that was um, February 25th, 2004. And uh, I didn't see uh, freedom until 2010, six years later, guys. And uh, But yeah, I just wanted to share this song. Um, my battery's about to die, so but the rest is just, it's just the instrumental playing through in the chorus. But uh, hopefully, you know, you got some something out of this and uh, I'll be sharing more song reviews um, later on. Let me know. Comment. Make sure you comment. Make sure you share. Hit like. Subscribe. Uh, appreciate all those that subscribed. A lot of you subscribed after I put the last uh, song review on. Really, really appreciate it. It lets me know that you like this content. And um, don't forget our other channel. I do preach at House of Rest Church. And that's a whole other YouTube channel. And uh, if that's something that interests you. You're always welcome to go check it out. All right, guys. See you later.